Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about this automotive component that's so where you can see the, it's a stamping component and right side it is a forming tool so i'm going to show you how to create this forming tool as well as this component so this is the component which i'm going to create so i'm going to show you how to create a forming tool for this standing component. So let's start now. So now I'm going to create the forming tool. I've taken a new SOLIDWORKS part file. Select the top plane. Go to sketch. Select center point rectangle. This is 200. Select these two lines, make it equal. So we can give 10 mm. So this thickness can be any value. Select the top face, go to sketch. Select center point arc. Create a center line. Select these three entities, make it symmetric. This is hundred. So die is hundred. So, displace diameter. Take a line. See, so we have to make sure that it is horizontal. So this value is uh, 60. So it is an offset. So we have to remove the coincidence. This is 30.
so this value is 20 we have to make it a tangent so select this arc this line So this is tangent. So it is constrained now. You go to feature, extrude boss, make it ten. Select this face, go to sketch. So move circle near to this point and we will get the center point. So place it exactly at the center. Make it 50. To 40. Make this value as 30. Say OK. Next, I am going to create the slots. So, select the top face, go to sketch. Create a three point arc. Draw a center line. Go to mirror entities. Select this slot sketch and uh, mirror this about the center line. Now we have to constrain. So this is around 40. This is 32. The center to center. Is fifty. Origin to the center point is forty. Now we have to provide dimensions to the arcs. So seventy. It is sixty. So sketch has been created. Simply extrude this height is five mm. Say okay. See here it is created now. Now I am going to apply fillets to these switches. So it is 2 mm. I am providing individually because 
sometimes it shows an error when we give all the fillets in a single feature so i am giving individually so this is 10 mm this is 4 this is 2 Now we have to apply forming tool. So select this face. So faces to remove, we have to select this face, this face, this face, and the side face. These three we need to select. See here. So now we can save this file in the forming tool folder. So we have to go to forming tool folder. So this is the folder. So we can right click and open this folder. So this is the folder. So we can save this file in two formats. One is a simply as a part file or see this is the form tool file so we can choose any options if you are placing the form tool in a different location apart from forming tool folder we have to save with this extension sld ftp or else we can simply save as prt file so that is the difference so after creating this component, uh, this uh, forming tool file, we have to create this component. So I have taken a new SolidWorks part file. Select the top plane. Go to Sketch. So we have to create one sketch. Equal sides. This is a 200. So, this size should be equal to the form tool size. So, the rectangular size of the form tool. So, go to sheet metal, select edge flange. So, I have taken 2 mm, 0.45, save. So, I have saved this file in the form tool. Folder. So simply place on this. See here. You can check the orientation. So we can, either we can flip the other direction also. So orientation. Keep it in top view. So for, for position, so this is 100 exactly at the center. So after placing the position, so we have to say OK. So 
See why it was showing an error because in the forming tool I have maintained minimum radius. In the forming tool I have maintained minimum radius at this this location and this location and this slot area is 2 ml. So it should be the radius should be always more than the sheet thickness. So now I have modified the sheet thickness to 1 mm. So this is the component. Now what we have to do is we have to remove the additional material. So select this face, go to sketch and uh, convert entity. So it forms a rectangle, exact like a rectangle. And go to extruded cut. Here we can select through all and save. It. See here, material has been removed. So this is the component. So this is the simple automotive stamping component. Thanks for watching.